To begin your search in the catalog, you can click on the search bar on the top right side of the page. You should first click on the LBI catalog button to search the catalog rather than the website. I'm going to type in Albert Einstein to see what materials we have about him in our collections. On the right side of the page, you will see a sidebar where you can choose different ways to tweak your results, such as availability, material type, language, topic, creator, and date. In addition, you can use the advanced search button by the search bar to limit, broaden, and define the search results using Boolean search, meaning you can click on and to combine search terms, not to limit your search, and or to search for either keyword. Once you find results you are happy with, you can click on the result to get more information on the collection, including a call number, a description of the collection, and biographic or historical notes. Many of our collections are digitized and can be viewed online. You can either press the online access button on the page of the collection or on the search page. If the material you would like to view is not in a collection, but a photograph or memoir, it may be brought directly to a page where the materials will be displayed. If the material is in an archival collection, you'll be di directed to a page where you can read in greater detail information about the collection. On the right side is a sidebar with the drop-down menu breaking down what's in the collection. The collections are usually divided into collection, series, subseries, and folder. Sometimes, as in the case of the Albert Einstein collection, it is broken down by box and folder. When you select a folder, you'll be brought to a new page where you will be able to read about what is in the folder and then view it. To see the digitized folder, click on the View Folder button. You will then be able to see the digitized materials. To see other folders, click Backspace, then repeat the previous steps. If a collection has not been digitized, you can request to see it at the Lily Goldman Reading Room, located at the Center for Jewish History. Simply click on the Request button, and then create an account if you do not yet have one. From there, you'll be directed to book your appointment and see the materials. The Leo Beck Institute also has a catalog page where different search portals are listed and described. It is important to note that everything found in the portals listed in this section can also be found in the LBI catalog above. However, if for example you'd like to search for curated selections of paintings, posters, and photographs, you can use the Edith Griffinger portal, or if you'd like to search through the archives of all the organizations at the Center of Jewish History, you can search the CJH catalog. But if you would like to simply see what is in, at the Leo Beck Institute and its resources, you can use the LBI catalog as previously described.